What's Quaka Squawkas? Welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Sun Let's Play. Last episode, you guys, we are still in the Aether Foundation, Aether Paradise, whatever you want to call it. We are here still looking for Lily and Lil Nebby, so hopefully in today's episode we can find both of them. But if you guys are excited, make sure you guys leave a like, support, because your support is greatly appreciated. I'm always stumbling on my words. But before I get started, you guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your continuing support. I know this series has gone on for way, way too long, and I'm just taking my time and enjoying it, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the series as well. I know there have been a lot of Let's Plays of Sun and Moon, but thank you guys so much for your continuing support on this series. But we have Aquarius, the Pre-Marina here, level 45 with the Moosing, Sparkling Aria, Aqua Jet, and Moon Blast. We have Sneaky, the Salazzle at level 44 with the Moose Venoshock, Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, and Toxic. We have Rockman, the Alolan Golem at level 44 with the Moose Rock Throw, Discharge, Thunder Punch, and brick break we have sandy the the palo sand i was gonna say sandy gas but it evolved the last episode at level 43 with the new psychic hypnosis bulldoze and shadow ball and last but not least we have sam the two cannon at level 39 with the moose fly drill peck beak blast and brick break so that is the squad so far so we're actually going to put let's put palo sand up in front because you know i want to test this bad boy out i know we used it last episode but you know i, I just want to keep using it i just want to keep using it but anyways let's make our way up over here and let's see what's going on what's going Ooh, ooh, there goes gladian and oh snap gladian and guzma he's like damn it <laughs> i'm just trying to find lily just trying to find Lily. Well, there's like an U Uku Billion. What the hell? Uku Billion. What the hell is Uku Billion? Who says that? Who the hell says Uku Billion? Okay. okay. Anyways, let's battle. Let's just get through these grunts. Hopefully, they only have one Pokemon because that'd be, that'd be fantastic. That'd be absolutely great if they only had one Pokemon. But let's see. Let's see what they're going to have. Let's see what you got, my dude. Let's see what you got. You only have one Pokemon. Good. And that is going to be a Golbat. So it's a good choice that I send out my Palo Sand here. All right, Sandy, come on out. Come on out. Ooh, look at that thing. This thing is so dope, man. I like this thing. Level 37 as well. So pretty easy. Pretty very easy. Ooh, Leech Life. Leech Life. Ooh, ooh that is not going to do anything to me. Psychic. And there we go. Golbat is out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, my dude. And that is it for Team Skull Grunt. I got crushed. I got defeated. Oh, no. All right. Anyways, let's continue on. Think. Okay, I think there's... I think this is the last Grunt. I don't know if the Grunt up there is the last one. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But let's go, Team Skull Grunt. Let's see what you got, my dude. Let's see what you got. All right, you are challenged by Team Skull Grunt, and you only have one Pokemon as well, and you have an Alolan Raticate. I was going to say the regular Raticate, but, you know, we're in Alola. We are in Alola, but let's see what this thing got. This thing is level 37, so we're going to go for the Bulldoze, and you're going to go for Crunch. That is super effective. That is going to do a decent bit of damage, but Bulldoze is going to lower your speed, so hopefully we do out speed that is not... <sighs> it doesn't do anything. Okay. Alright, so we're going to switch. Let's go into Aquarius. Aquarius, the pre-marina. The pre-marina. So, anyways, you guys, I actually completed my moon. Uh, my own personal copy of Pokemon Moon. And I know what's going to happen. This game, uh, this game is absolutely gorgeous. I, that's all I'm going to say. That is all I'm going to say. This game is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to spoil what happens. Because I, I still can't believe not a lot of people have the games yet. Which is crazy. But, you know, I, I'm not going to spoil it. But... It's just amazing. It's just amazing. So what I've been doing is I'm actually prepping up something um, You know prepping up like dittos and stuff like that because I am gonna be shiny hunting very very soon I don't know when but that's why you guys got to follow me on Twitter links in the description down below always 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 but anyways, we're gonna go for a hyper potion because Palo sand definitely took a beating and might as well heal up a little bit of Aquarius there we go Nice and healed up, and we're gonna put Rockman up in front because I don't know if this Grunt has a Golbat, but we'll see. But I want to put Rockman because of Guzma and that uh, Galissapod, the Galissapod, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna battle Guzma. Let's go, yo, yo. Pretty sure. Okay, he's not gonna battle us, so here we go. Here we go, big bad 
Guzma. It's time. It's time. And it looks like Gladian lost to Guzma. It's time to battle this dude. Here we go. Come at me, boy. Come at me. The heated boss. Big bad Guzma's here. I did that spoiled little brat a favor and crushed him. Yeah, that was me. You know, I kind of like you, kid. Leaving home like that and wanting to get stronger and stronger. You got some real guts. Going so far, coming over to Team Skull and rejecting your own mother. That was impressive. So he's talking about Gladian. So Gladian is related to Lily and, you know, the, the present as well. So here we go. Here we go, Guzma. Uh, uh, Team Skull. Come over here, big boy. Come over here, big boy. You have four Pokemon. What the hell? All right, so he's going to lead off with the Galissapod. Okay, couldn't remember if he did or not, but what level is this thing? That's the only thing I'm worried about. What level is this Galissapod? It is level 41. Okay, so we're going to go for the Discharge right off the bat, and we do outspeed. Let's see how much that is going to do. And we paralyze it. Yes, not bad. Not bad at all. And emergency exit. So you're going to you're gonna leave like a coward. And you're going to send out Pinsir. Okay, level 40. So he added a Pinsir to his squad. Not bad. Not bad, Guzmo. Not bad. You're going to catch this rock throw, though. Brick break. Okay. Rock throw. And that is not going to kill. Okay. So we're going to switch because I don't want Rockman to die. We're going to go into Sneaky. The Salazzle. Hopefully, Salazzle can live a hit. I'm hoping. We'll see. We will see. This thing's level 44. Okay, Brick Break. Alright, there we go. We lived that. Let's go for a Flamethrower because that is super effective. And get rid of the Pinsir real quick. Like, there we go. Pinsir out of the way. Get out of here, dude. Get the hell out of here. All right, and next up is going to be the Galissapod that we injured earlier. So we're going to go into Toucanon here because Toucanon, I feel like, can handle his whole squad because it's all bug types. We should be good. So come on out, Sam, the Toucanon. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This thing's a freaking monster. All right, uh, let's go for the Drill Peck. We do outspeed. I was going to say, what the hell? We do outspeed, and that is going to take out the Galissapod. Get out of here. All right, what's next? Level 40 for two cannon, which is dope. Dope indeed. All right, and you're trying to learn Bullet Seed. We do not need Bullet Seed. All right, anyways, Rockman is up to level 45, which is cool. Aquarius up to level 46. Sneaky's up to level 45. Okay, I was going to say, is anyone else going to level up? Nope. All right, so Masquerade up next, level 40. So this is your second to last Pokemon. You do have Intimidate. All right, let's go for the Drill Peck. And Air Slash, how much is that going to do? Can we eat this up? Oh, that's a crit. Oh, no, that was not a crit. Okay. Um, let's go into Rockman. I know Masquerade is part water, I'm pretty sure. Fly or no, Bug Water? Or is it? Yeah, it's Bug Water because I, I was going to say it's Flying Water. But no, it's Bug Water. I could be wrong. I don't know, man. I'm not a Pokemon Master yet. I'm not a Master yet. All right, anyways, we're going to go for a Rock Throw. Bug Buzz. How much is that going to do? Really? <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh, Let's go into Salazzle. That was so dumb. That was so freaking dumb. And we're going to go for... We're going to go for the Flamethrower, obviously. What was I thinking there for a second? I was going to go for Sludge Bomb, but no. Flamethrower is the way to go. There we go. Masquerade out of the way. So one more Pokemon left, and I'm pretty sure it's the Ariados. Yes, okay, so we're just going to stay in. We're just going to stay in and take care of this on our own. Our Salazzle here is going to take care of this. We're going to go for the Flamethrower and get this thing out of here. Sucker Punch. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Flamethrower. And there we go. Ariados is out of the way, and that is it for Big Bad Guzma. Get out of here. Sandy's up to level 44, and there we go. Guzma has been defeated. All right, so... Down goes Guzma. He's going to be like, what's wrong with you, Guzma? That's my favorite part. Do it. <laughs> I don't know why I like that so much. It's just so funny. So freaking funny. But anyways, I have no choice. I got to get out of the way. All right. Well done, my brave companion. You beat Guzma. All right. It's time for us to go make our way inside. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, we got to heal up, though. Holy crap, we got to heal up. Okay, Rockman, heal you up. 
because we do have a battle coming up. So we definitely got to be on our A game. Got to heal up everyone. And there we go. Everyone's nice and healed up. So it's time for us to make our way inside. See what's going on. Ooh. Ooh. Look at Lily. And look at Lusamine. This was so cool when I first saw this. What? You came here. You came. You actually came to help me. So, you know one another. Gifting trainer like Crow. Oh, impeccable. Uncom- oh, Okay. I- It's not impeccable. She did not say impeccable. She said incomprehensible. It's not even how you pronounce the word, but anyways, she's like neglecting her daughter and she's and Lily's talking about Cosmog and the ultra wormhole and off she goes. She does not care. Her hair is really annoying. <laughs> her hair just looks so fake, but anyway, she's like, my mom's being so selfish. She's not thinking about Nebby and how much it's going to hurt Nebby. All right, so we got to go. Off we go. Look at this place. This place is just weird. So weird. What is this place? There's Lucimine. Hurry, this way. She's like just calling for us to come over there. This is so cool. I'm sorry. I, I just love the cutscene so much. Really do. My precious babies. Eternity here. Look at Slowpoke just frozen. That's just sick. She's a sick woman. Look at Pikachu, man. Why Pikachu? I thought this was Pokemon's mascot, but guess not. They just they just betrayed Pikachu like that. That's so sad. That is so freaking sad. But here is our boy, Hal. Whoa, Crow! And here is Gladian. Lily! Glad you're okay. Oh, sweet Hal. And Gladian. See... Yeah, everyone, everyone here. It's a family reunion. Alright, the ultra wormhole. Don't open it. Look, she's just staring at her son. He's so white. She's so white, too. <laughs> they all need a tan. Oh, look at her. I love this theme. I love this theme. And now she's like, you stole my type null and daughter son. Yes, Hal, they're related. They're freaking related, dude. You're a family. Yes, family reunion. That's what that's the title of this episode, Family Reunion. But it doesn't matter. None of that matters now. Doom 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 do, do. and oh Cosmog. Cosmog, no. They're gonna hurt you, Cosmog. I'll save you, buddy. I'll save you. Please stop. Nebby can't take all of this. Please don't do this to Nebby. It will die. She doesn't care. Like I don't understand. No matter how many times you beg her, she does not care. Uh-oh. She's gonna do it. Oh, she gonna do it. Oh, she gonna do it. It's time. Rasenga! No, let me stop. <laughs> I've been playing too much Naruto lately. The Ultra Wormhole. And there it is. UB01. Oh, this is so cool. This cutscene is just so freaking cool, man. Look at this. I get chills every time I see this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That's a freaking monster. It's Larry the Lobster on steroids, man. Just coming out of space. Everyone is running wild. So I guess that's where, like, the post-game stuff is. Like, this is where we find the other Ultra Beasts. Because I am playing a little bit of the post-game in Moon. And there are Ultra Beasts, obviously. So, spoiler alert. I probably should have never said that. But, anyways. Here is UB01. And it's time to run wild. Time to run wild on these mother frickers. Pew! You must be so noisy in there. Get your own power. But I'll admit, that power... Beauty speaks. Ah, oh, even now, she's just looking all over the island, like she's just enjoying it. It's time for us to take charge. But this is so cool. Near Melee Melee Island. Look, look. <laughs> this cracks me up. Doodaloo, just a Kahuna. 
Wait, this disturbance I feel. Bam! This Ultra Beast is my favorite one. This one and the... I'm not going to spoil it, but the, look at look at his fist! And here is Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko! Ooh. Ooh, Tapu Koko's mad. Tapu Koko is mad. Alright, did you come here as a guardian or just to battle? The other islands. Yep, so those are the other island deities. And here they go. Here they go. I don't know if this should be the thumbnail or not. Oh my gosh, this cutscene just looks so cool. Oh, th this probably will be the thumbnail. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. So many options. So many options. So little to choose from. So little to choose from, man. Okay, anyways. That, ew. I don't know how I, I... I don't like how I said that, but anyways. My sweet beast. And here is Big Bad Guzma. You're right. Guzma, quiet these children. Look at Gladian. He's like, don't touch me. I'll stop the beast. My partner... Oh, beast killer. You take on Guzma. Look at, look at that. Crow, stop the president. You mean your mom, dude? My mom would smack me if I just called her the pre- Well, I don't know. I'd rather- My mom would rather me call her mom, though. But here we go. Lusamine. It's time. It's time. The battle. The crazy. The crazy MILF. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Ooh, ooh she, she kind of reminds me of a MILF. Alright, anyways. President Lusamine. She has a clefable. Alright, here we go. Rockman. Rockman. Okay, level 41. So we can handle this. I know this thing is part fairy, so we're going to go for the discharge. See how much it does. That does absolutely nothing. Metronome. Clear smog. What are you doing? What are you doing, my dude? Pretty sure this thing is part fairy. We could go for the brick break and find out. Oh. Yeah, it is part fairy because that does nothing. Okay, metronome again. Ember, watch it get the burn. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, see, our luck is so bad that I just called it, but we're gonna go for the rock throw. And that does a decent bit, so I'm hoping one more can do the trick. Okay. Rock throw. Oh, you withdrew. What the hell? You can't just do that. Look at Beware. Look at freaking Beware, man. Rock throw. Okay. So we're gonna go for the discharge and hopefully we're just gonna have to sacrifice Rockman to be honest with you. So discharge and paralysis. Yes! There we go. Coming through. Coming through. Takedown. Takedown though. My dude, you're gonna get hit with that recoil damage. I'm pretty sure this thing has brick break or something. We're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go for the discharge. And okay, hammer arm. Yep. Bye bye, Rockman. Bye bye, Rockman. And off you go. Off you go, Rockman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rockman died twice in this episode. I just realized that. That kind of sucks. But anyways, two cannon. Here you come. And we're going to go for the drill pack. And you are paralyzed. Wow, you outspeed us. Hello? Two cannon is kind of slow then. But anyways, beware. Out of the way. Critical hit too. The crit didn't even matter, but you know, it's whatever. It's nice to have it once in a while. Miss Magius is up next. I forgot she had this. Uh, let's go into Sandy, because Sandy has Shadow Ball. And hopefully it does something. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. But here comes our Palo Sand here. And here comes Miss Magius. Miss Magius. Alright. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. And you're going to go for the Power Gem. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to go for the Shadow Ball, though. Look at that. I love the animation for Shadow Ball. That is going to almost kill this thing. We're going to go for one more. And Mystical Fire. Holy crap, this is the first time I'm actually seeing that. That's crazy. That's such a cool animation. But anyways, Miss Magius is out of the way. Alright, so half of her team's already gone, which is good. And next up is going to be a Lilligant. Okay, uh, let's go into Sneaky. Because I don't feel like Toucanon can handle it. Plus, uh, Sneaky has a Charcoal Flamethrower combination. So, yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be very, very cool. Alright, Lilligant. 
Level 41, we're gonna go for the Flamethrower. And get rid of this thing in one hit. Watch. Bam. This thing's not living. This thing is not living. There we go. Lilligant, out of the way. Get out of here. And your last Pokemon... Oh, no. Your next Pokemon is going to be a Milotic. Ooh. <laughs> Ugh, this is where we need our <laughs> we need a grass type so bad we really do but anyways let's go into Aquarius and my Lodic is level 41 so we're gonna go just gonna go for the moon blast we're just gonna go for it honestly because we can't really do anything Rockman I Rockman has discharge but it's not gonna do anything I'm just gonna go for the moon oh my gosh pre marina hello okay moon blast again Hydro Pump. We're gonna eat this up because we're part. We're Water type. Hello. Eat that up for breakfast. All right, Moon Blast. And there we go. My Lodic is out of the way. So that was actually pretty easy. Level forty-one. And last up is a Clefable. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's go for the Sparkling Aria. And... Get rid of this. Get rid of this thing. There we go. Clefable, out of the way. And that is it. That is it for Lusamine for right now. Oh my gosh, I did not expect Sirens. <sighs> Do apologize for that, you guys. I didn't even expect that. I really did not expect that, but anyways, we handle that. Hmm. All I want is my precious beast. Off she goes. Off she goes. The beast is gone. Ooh. No, it's disappearing. Guzma, with me. Yo, she just owns Guzma. She just grabs him by his balls. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Off they go. Mother! Oh, snap. She's gone. She's gone. Bye-bye. She's just waving goodbye. And there's Guzman, too. He's like, yeah, fuck that! <laughs> yeah, fuck that, I'm out! And off they go. They're gone. She's so depressed. I feel so bad for Lily. Like, her mom doesn't even want her. The hell? Yo, Nebby's so small. Ooh. Ooh. Nebby times two. Nebby times two. Change forms. We're going to figure it out later, though, because I'm not going to tell you what happened. Get out of here. All right, so. Got to get out of here. Man, a lot has happened. Holy crap. This episode is just filled and filled with cutscenes and storylines. All right, anyways. Oh, here's Sticky. I mean, Wiki. <laughs> Still a ton to do. Guzma went in there. She just, he just, like, he doesn't even say my mom went in there. Like, hello? I, I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand at all. But everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Thank you both. I love you guys so much. If I could, I'd give both of you guys a big old kit. All right, anyways, that's not what she says. All right, bed. Just one last time. She's going to sleep in her mom's bed. That's so sad. Such a mommy's girl. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, the next day. All right, what, what, what's going on? What's going on, boys? We're all nice and healed up. Oh, Lily's gone. I'm guessing that's where she slept, right? I'm pretty sure. Crow, Miss Lily's waiting outside. All right, off we go outside. Let's see what's, what's let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping outside. And where's she at? Where's she at though? Oh, she got some weird light. Oh, oh, the transformation. Lily glue up, bruh. The glow up. She's like, hey. <laughs> hey, how's it going? All 
I picked these clothes up in Mali. Do you, do you think it suits me? Sure do. Hell yeah, it does. Come here. Give me a big old kiss. Save my mom. I'm gonna be like you, crow. So I'm going to try my hardest. This is my Z power. Ooh. Okay. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, girl. I see you. I see you. Okay. You need to stop covering that five head. So this was where you were. Found this downstairs. The moon flute. Ooh. Ooh, the moon flute. Okay. All right, here's Gladian. He's like, yo, here, take this with you, dude. And we get a map. <gasps> it's time. It's time without any fail. All right, don't mess this up. Aether Paradise. Crow. Here's Hal. He's like, hey, dude. How's it going? How's it going, bruh? Lily, what happened to you? Yeah, it's me. Use my full force. You look fantastic. What was that? I'm going to trade my heart. Bruh, Gladian's playing Big Brother. He was flirting with her. That's so cute. That's so cute, dude. That's so cute. All right, anyways. Train my hardest. Our mother can't do a thing. All right. Next island, at least. So off we go. Off we go to the next island. It's time. Do we really gotta walk all the way over there? That's... That's so ass. That is so ass, dude. We really gotta walk all the way over there? Why can't you just teleport us? Alright, so it looks like everything is back to normal in the Aether Foundation. Like, they're like, oh yeah, nothing happened, you know. Lucimine just went into a freaking wormhole to space. Or wherever the... Yeah, it's like space or something. Or the Ultra... What? Whatever. Whatever, man. This is so weird. Anyways, where is... Uh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, where the hell is Gladian? Ready to go? Yes. Alright. No holding back, Crow. And off we go. To the final island. This is the smallest island, too, so... I, I don't expect us to be here too long, actually. I expect us to be here like two, three episodes max. Maybe four, but that's pushing it. But this is the last island, you guys. The final island of this game. So we have one more kahuna to battle, and that's it. That's it. And here we are. The smallest island in Alola. The Seafolk Village. Seafolk Village. Look at everyone. Everyone's just so calm. You'll find a lot. Anyways, go find a kahuna. And, you know, go do all that stuff you do. No left with mother. She left bad. If it hadn't had wiki with me. Oh man. Look at brother and sister. Alright. Off Gladian goes. Okay, you don't have to worry. Maybe. I'm kind of excited. Alright, so here we are in the final island. Brand new Pokemon as well. Alright, so here we are. The final island of this game. That, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. We are here. Corsola. Oh. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, who are you? Everyone thought this was a kahuna, but it's just a freaking chef. Yes, ma'am. Rare things. Bring them. Port. Busier pony, eh? Where did you all come here? We're here to visit the kahuna. The kahuna? Maybe you should go to little Hapu's place. Okay, so Hapu lives on this island. So we're gonna go find her. We're gonna go find Hapu and... You know, where she's at, though. Where she at, though. But, anyways, we're going to end off today's episode right here, you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like. Because support is greatly appreciated. We are on the final island, you guys. So, expect a lot of crazy things to happen these next couple of episodes. But, anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Nightcrow. I'm going to fly to here. Squall!